Hey guys, just doing a 6 month review of my Rock at Comb Pro. This will include a drag click CPS test, a software run through and some stats and my thoughts about this Rock at product. So here we have our software and it's called Rock at Swarm. So on the starting page this is our settings, we've got our vertical roll speed. So uh, basically this is just uh, what we can do to change the mouse for Windows, so when we're on our home screen. We've got our button assignment. So we can hotkey uh, uh, actions to our mouse, so buttons on the side, and then we have our DPI switcher across the bottom. So when we press this, you can see it cycles through the uh, DPI profiles, and then we have our illumination. Now this is the only downside, that the illumination, there's not much. So we can have our wave, so basically it will cycle through the colours. And we can pick how fast it, uh, f how fast we want it to go through, uh, and that's your really only downside about this mouse. And then, if we go to advanced settings, this is where we can change our debounce time. So we can have it at zero ms. So when we click, we only need to uh, uh, every zero ms, it'll add another click. If you know what I mean. So basically, we can get more CPS. Now this is bannable in some Minecraft servers, but. Uh, most of the time it's hardly detectable. We have our polling rate, so if we've got multiple programs open, we can change that so it would uh, change the hertz so it only sends packets to the servers only 1000 hertz, which is slower. Uh, we've got our distance control unit. Now, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> we've got our angle snapping, sound feedback, our LED timeout, so when it's off and we're not using it, uh, we can set it so it after 15 minutes or 30 minutes, it will uh, like shut down all the RGB stops and that will save electricity and stuff. And then basically this mouse, it weighs 66 grams, which is very light. And it's okay for drag clicking if you can apply enough pressure to it. Yep, here we have our Minecraft open. And we've got our CPS counter, because I'm a Luna client. And if we drag click, which I'm trash at, and I can't get enough CPS because I've got sticky hands for some reason. But uh, it's good if you drag, if you know how to short drag, because it's uh, very helpful with if you're trying to Godbridge or Telebridge and stuff like that. We've got, uh, so it's 66 grams, so it is quite light. It's hard to keep a hold of, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. Nice shape. It feels feels all right um but it's probably best for people with medium sized hands because they can get a better grip on it but i like this mouse it's quite nice it's definitely worth the money i think it's around 50 50 pounds from a curry's or amazon um but yeah i definitely recommend it and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next review bye